So how much? 50 p yeah. Morning. Morning. How much are you after on the games, mate? You won't buy everything. How much? The console. Yeah, how much? 70 bucks. 70, yeah. Uh -huh. Are you selling the games individually or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much? You get that 70. No, no, are you selling them on their own? No, you don't want Xbox. No, 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 I've got one already. I'm just after the games, mate. Uh, two pounds? Two pounds, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good condition, check the PCD, it's good. And these are two pounds as well? No, this, no, no, no. How much? Different. This How is much? the, you know, this is a new one. 55. You want 55 pounds for this, yeah? 45. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is the 15 pounds. 15, yeah. Okay, cheers mate. 12 seconds later. Those places that's what I said, mate. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you.
real like knack, like, like put the camera, put, like, like get the drone to fly up yeah, and then yeah. tilt the camera down as it goes up so it stays through the bit. It's really it's a tr tr difficult thing. Where do you yeah, get it right? Really? Oh, yeah. How much did you The drone thing, uh, tenor. It's up on eBay, for the same. Yeah, I didn't know about like pairing it to a different drone. Like, yeah, I think because like, normal RC is. Is. I'm just got the Mini Two as well. Mini Two. Oh, okay. I'm so far. Did you have to like get like licensed and stuff now? I've done my yeah. Pay two. Right. So you have to do a mission. Yeah. Sorry, mate. How much uh, tenor each, mate. They do work. Sure. Yeah. Oh, mate. I'll have a tour there. Yeah, right. Excuse me. Alright, cheers. You wouldn't do a tenor for both of them, would you, mate? No. No, because no, you'll flog them on and make make the money. So. <laughs> 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 so they're on eBay anyway, so so like I, I thought like you know if we, we bring them here. They've got watches on eBay. So. Yeah, no worries. All right. Sorry. How much is, uh, is that one? He hasn't got a price. Uh, pound. Pound, yeah. Oh. Very loud, and how much are the Blu rays? Uh, two pound each. Two pound each, yeah. Was it in? Have you got, still got it? Nice day. I'll catch up with you next week, haven't you, mate? Okay. If I help someone out with a bag, what can you do? Oh, thank you very much. No worries, darling, because they're all good, because you've got them in the rain and it's right in the wet, you know? Yes, it is. Thank you. You're welcome, my darling. I didn't say it was a fiber. Did I say it was a fiber? You take care, darling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But all the washing goes to safe. I don't know. I No worries. It was over under there when we started. Yeah, it's been cleared out. Yeah, all the top, you know, all the name ones that people want. Crafter gone. Yeah. No worries. Cheers, mate. And we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch and this is Retro Rummage. Aim of the game on my channel is buying games, DVDs, uh, any electrical items I get my hands on at a boot sale, um, charity shop, Facebook Marketplace for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded in at CEX so I can build my own gaming collection. So yeah, first boot sale of 2023. Very quiet. Um, yeah, what wasn't the greatest, as you could probably tell from the uh, footage, unfortunately, but it was good to get back out there, um, get into that routine of getting up early on the weekends and, uh, you know, getting out there looking for some games. Um, I mean, to make it, you know, matters even worse, myself and then also uh, Scott from Marathon Gaming, we'd arranged to meet at another boot sale that was meant to have started, I think, at about 6 or 7 in the morning. Um, we was both going to get there for 7 a.m., all on social media, I said that it was, you know, open, um, you know, even a couple of hours before. Both got there at, you know, maybe half six, seven o'clock. No one there. <laughs> so got out of bed, you know, double early. Scott said he's going to go home, and go back to sleep. But I, I stayed up, drove to um, another car boot sale, waited in my car for like 45 minutes, watched some stuff on, on YouTube, 
and went to to this one. So, yeah, wasn't the greatest of days, but did manage to pick up one game. Um, and I also popped into the Retro Hunter in Leon C, uh, which I've done a video before about there. And I picked up a couple of games from there as well as, you know, I can't go a whole weekend without, <laughs> without picking up some games. So, yeah, the one and only game that um, I managed to pick up from the boot sale was Cars uh, on the Xbox 360. It's complete, in good condition. Uh, paid £1.50 for that, and that chops in for £6. So, yeah, that probably just about covers entrance and maybe a little bit of my petrol. So, all in all, wasn't the best of days. But in my mind, I'm like, you know, if I didn't go up, if I, if I, sorry, if I didn't get up and if I didn't go, it would have been the day that I missed out on, uh, you know, one of the big, big hitters. So, by law of averages, it, it will work itself out in the end. And that's what I tell myself to, to keep my sanity. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Popped into the Retro Hunter and Leon C. I just want to say a quick shout out as well. I'm so, so sorry. I'm t terrible with names. Um, I bumped into, I believe his name was Ricky. Um, he said he's from Portsmouth. He'd come down uh, with his wife and his kids. They'd actually gone to maybe uh, another event somewhere else and he dragged his wife to the Retro Hunter after watching my video of that still saying that he wanted to you know, go in there and have a look at the games. And just by chance, I was in there as well. So he said hello. Like I said, I'm so, so sorry. I can't, I think his name was Rick or Ricky, but I remember his son's name. His son was Jay, uh, Jai, sorry, with J-A-I, because he spelled it out for me as well. Um, yeah, said hello to both of them, and it, it was really nice of him to come over. So again, I'm really, really sorry that my, my memory, I just couldn't remember, couldn't recall your name, but I do really appreciate you coming over. Um, and saying hello. So yeah, shout out to, to him and his son. So thank you very much. Um, but yeah, just two games that I picked up from um, Ali at the Retro Hunter. First game, which I paid £5 for, uh, is Tekken Tag Tournament. Complete, in nice condition, as always, um, you know, from Ali at the Retro Hunter. I've got Tekken uh, 5, I believe. I need Tekken 4, and I've got Tekken Tag Tournament. Not sure if there's any other Tekken games on the PlayStation 2. Let me know in the comments if not. And then, yeah, this is a game that I wasn't actually aware of until recently, um, which is Time Splitters Future Path. Now, I love Time Splitters 1 and 2 uh, as a kid. Absolutely loved them. Multiplayer and Time Splitters 2 was brilliant. Didn't even know that there was a Time, time Splitters 3. But yeah, £8 I paid for this one. It's nice and complete, um, as always. And then, yeah, in good condition. So I'm actually looking looking forward to playing this game because, yeah, like I was saying, I didn't know about it as a kid. Let me know in the comments if it's a game that you've played. Um, but, yeah, that, that's it for today, unfortunately. You know, like I said, every boot sale can't be the best, but I still hope you enjoyed the video. Um, but if not, everyone, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.